How to update your Genesis navigation software for free and at home. It's important to note that this update only applies to vehicles with built-in navigation. The screen size will vary depending on the model and age of the vehicle. In this case, we'll be updating a 9.2 inch premium class two head unit. You will need a 32 gigabyte SD card or a USB drive with 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes depending on the model and file size. SD cards need to be formatted to FAT32 and USB drives to EX FAT. The Genesis Navigation Downloader tool will inform you which one your vehicle uses and the size required. You can reuse the SD card from the vehicle if your vehicle came with a 32 gigabyte SD card. You will need to supply your own USB drive. After you have distinguished which infotainment system your vehicle has, I'd recommend first checking whether an update is available. You can check the software version by going to Setup, General, and under Software Version, the current software version will be displayed. If the version differs from the one located on the Navigation Updater tool, then you should proceed with the update. To find the correct navigation update file for your vehicle, go to the website located on the screen or in the description below. Once on this website, click on the Navigation Updater download and then download the correct software for your PC or Mac. If you have already used the Hyundai Navigation Updater or Kia Navigation Updater, there's no need to download the new tool. You can simply go into the settings on the current tool and change the brand you are downloading the files for. Once you have done this, you can open up the software tool and log into your current account or use the guest login. Then you'll want to find the vehicle you own by model and model year. The updates are different depending on the vehicle, so be sure to download the correct one. Insert the SD card or USB drive into your computer and follow the directions for downloading the file. You'll need to download the file directly to your computer before transferring it to your SD card or USB drive. Once you have followed the directions from the software tool to download and transfer the file, you can eject the media and head to the vehicle. Once inside the vehicle, turn the vehicle on and plug the SD card into its dedicated slot or USB drive into the media port around the center console. I would recommend turning off Bluetooth from your phone before updating. The vehicle should automatically recognize the update, but if not, go to Setup, General, and press the Update button. The update should take 30 to 45 minutes and the screen may turn on and off during the update. This is a premium class 2 9.2 inch head unit. It has been updated before, however software features and layout may change with each update. Once completed, you can check the version to see if it matches the version from the website to verify that the update was successful. So hopefully you've successfully installed the latest version of the navigation software on your Genesis head unit. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave those all in the comment section below. I read every single one of them. If you are new, please consider subscribing and checking out some of the other content currently on the channel. If you have a video idea or recommendation, leave that all in the comment section below. So with all that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video.